This will be a kind of 3D tutorial, so I will open up the Anime Studio. Anime Studio Debut 7 as we can see here. I will start off by creating some shapes and different layers. Maybe this will be a good time to shut up and speed up the animation. Not like that. Now we have three vector layers. The vector layer three is in front, so therefore we cannot see the other two vector layers. So a good point here is to bring the other vector layers up front. So I will mark the layer one and bring it above layer three. I will take the layer two layer and bring it up in front of the layer one. Now all three layers are visible. The tree layer, the sort of hill layer, and the sky layer. The sky layer has turned green now, so a good point is to change that to light blue. So I choose the layer 3 layer, which is the layer that is the furthest away. I will choose the select uh, shape tool, and I will use a light blue color on it. Like that. Now, if you render, we will see the scenario that I intended. Command and R button will render the picture for us quite well. I will also move these uh, three layer a little bit in the foreground so it will not merge so much with the other layers. So use the translate tool and shift in a bit sideways like this. Maybe a bit down as well that. Excellent. Now we will go to the point where we will move the camera. This is one of many steps to show you that how this works. So I go to the camera, I select the keyframe 12, I will move the camera a bit to the right by choosing a position X of the camera to be 1. This is like in school when you used Cartesian coordinate system in the mathematics class. Like that. Now the camera will go from one side to the other of the picture. I will show you this here. Not at all what we were intended to do. We didn't want the layers just to move. We wanted some kind of 3D effect in the movement, and that is what I'm going to show you now, how we can do it. Now we're going to separate the layers and uh, bring them to different position in the said plane. So I will mark the layer 2, I will go to the first keyframe. I will um, select the translate layer 2. Now the hills are, or the layer 2 are selected. We can uh, choose a position for this layer. Its set value is 0 and I will leave that unchanged and take the second layer, layer 1, which are the hill layer. This I will move to a position minus 2 on the Z axis which is the axis for depth here. You see immediately that the hills are being much smaller now when they are moved further away in the background. I will also do the same for the layer 3. And the layer 3 is actually the clouds and the sky and that can appear much much further away and you can have to draw that much bigger but for this purpose it will be due with minus 4 maybe minus 20 or something would be a better value for this layer. Now we have the three vector layers and we can render it with command and R. And we see the trees in the back in the foreground and the hills in the background and the sky back away in the horizon is the thought here. 
If you now play the animation, we will see that the tree is actually moving faster in the foreground than the hills doing in the background. This is a good starting position and we will also I will also show you how we can move the camera not only sideways but also up and in the depth uh, into the scene. So uh, let's uh, go to the camera tool, track camera tool and choose a keyframe at about 18 and move the camera back to position 0. Now the animation will go first to the right and then back to the left but in the same plane. Uh, this is just to show you that the hills will move slower than the trees in the foreground as when you travel in a car or in a train and look out the window. Now it's time to move the camera into the scene. So I will choose a layer um, a set of a value that should be minus one here. Then we're approaching the hills. Here I will uh, raise the camera up a bit also. So. And a bit further I will let the camera slow down and uh, go down and further into the scene into the skies like that. Now if we play this to move sideways first and then upwards and above and beyond the trees and the hills. Maybe it could be better if we spread these about these keyframes a bit further because it moves so fast so we can barely see what happens in the scene. So I will do something like this instead. I think that it's good enough. I think you get the picture now and can create something better by yourself.